Hello, hello, hello. My name is Christine Whitaker. I'm filling in for Marnie Hernandez, who tried to do this this morning, but her uh, access on the ship was not good enough and it kicked her out. So um, it seems that I'm having a little bit of issues too, but we're going to play it by ear. And uh, so we might get a little bit of stopping here and there because it keeps telling me it wants me to log in again, but I'm already logged in and everybody can see my things, my screen okay and hear me okay. So I don't know. So anyway, we're going to get started today. We're doing part three of ALG and we're, we went through Travel Agent Academy, which then takes us in through VEX to be able to get to this. So we're getting ready to start and hope everyone's having a nice day. So we're right now, we're, uh, see, there it is, but telling me that I have to log in again, but I have. Uh, I think see. you just need to refresh your screen and it will give, take you to the login page. Well, okay, I'm gonna try refreshing my screen and hope I don't get kicked out. Okay, get certification. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe that was the part that I needed to log in again. Okay. No, we're still there. Okay. Now we're going to go down here. Adding a payment. All right. Okay. So we're going to get started here. Your clients may apply payment towards their books reservation at any time between the deposit and the balance due dates. To add a payment, simply retrieve the client's reservation in VAX. Scroll down the page to the itinerary tools panel and click the add payment tab. Fields will expand below with payment and balance details, mm -hmm. along with the fields to enter your client's payment information. Select the number of payment types from the drop down menu. This is convenient when you need to spread the cost of the package across several payment cards. Anytime between the cards are being found, you can read the full field set following. Check the box in the grid and explain the terms and conditions to your client, and then click the new payment button. Is there a problem? I hear people trying to talk over the, the, the um, video. Because it keeps saying showing the people's names. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that I mute everyone uh, as soon as I can see. There it is. So that way, then um, that way there's no interruption on the um, video, so that people can still hear. button to complete the transaction. Keep in mind that you also have the ability to send your clients a payment request via email right from the reservation. Just click the payment request link at the top of the reservation to create your request. This allows the clients to conveniently apply payment directly to their reservations themselves. And that's all there is to it. Follow me to the next module, and we'll look at how to make a modification to your traveler's information in a book itinerary. Okay, let's measure our understanding. Your clients may apply payments toward their booked reservation at any time between the deposit and balance due dates. True. True. True, okay. 
to add a payment to a booked reservation, retrieve the reservation in VAX and click the add payment tab within the itinerary tools panel. True or false? True. Okay. Correct. Yay. And of course, when I did this earlier, I had to do it this way. I don't know. Maybe you guys figured a faster way to do it. But anyway, now we're going to launch changing traveler information. I have the ability to update or change certain components of my reservation. This includes some items regarding the travelers on the itinerary. Once my client's reservation is open, I scroll down the page to the itinerary tool panel and click the modifications tab. The tab is where you have a lot of opportunity to update and change components within your reservation, including your passenger information. Let's click on the change packs info link. Here, each traveler in each room will be displayed. Before you change any information, check the change traveler information box for the person you need to update. Any fields that remain grayed out are not modifiable. And you need to be aware that changes to a traveler's name may result in the rebooking of components, which may reprice the itinerary. It's important to understand that your ability to make changes to the traveler information may be limited, and some tasks do require the assistance of our customer care team. For example, you'll need to contact customer care if you want to add or remove a traveler from a reservation, or if you need to make a name correction on scheduled air. Always check here first to see if you're able to make the change yourself before contacting our customer care team. Okay, now we're going to do our understanding. To modify traveler information on a reservation, click the which tab within the itinerary tools panel. Comments and preferences, add a payment, history, or modifications. Modifications. Okay. When modifying traveler information, you must first select the box next to the traveler number you want to edit. True or false? True. I would say so. Correct. Yay. Editing travel components. ALG Vacations offers a lot of opportunity for you to modify a booked reservation yourself and VAX. We know that travelers change their minds and decide the activities or switch room categories. And we know there's always upselling opportunities for you to deliver even after your client's reservation is already booked. When your clients ask if they can add transfers or a fun activity to their reservation, just say yes and make the update yourself in minutes. Let's first open our client's reservation and scroll down the page to the itinerary tools panel. The star of the itinerary tools show is definitely in modifications tab. This tab allows you to complete a variety of adjustments to your reservation. Not only can you change traveler information, change travel dates or seat assignments, or apply Groupies promo code, you can change the actual travel components of your itinerary. Let's click Change Component to reopen our workable itinerary. 
Once my itinerary opens, I'll see a modification and progress notation at the top. From here, I can reopen any of the panels to make changes. Note that you may not have the ability to change lights if you've booked on schedule there because tickets are issued immediately upon booking. In this case, you'd need to contact our customer care team for assistance. Let's upgrade our client's room category. I'll click on hotels to reopen hotel availability page. In the availability page, my hotel selection will be outlined and marked as shown here so it's easy to find. To change our current room selection, I'll click on the plus sign to expand all room categories. Maybe my clients have decided they want a full ocean view, so I'll simply select that category to add it to my itinerary. My new room selection will now display on the itinerary summary, but it is important to note that we haven't completed the update just yet. We need to go through the checkout process before the action is complete. It is also important to remember when quoting a client for a new room or hotel selection, not to quote in the availability page with all of the room categories and hotel options. The checkout page will provide the actual cost of the new resort and or room. But before we head to the checkout, our client also really wants to swim with the dolphins while on vacation. So let's go to the features panel. Transfers and excursions may be added to your client's booked reservation up to eight days prior to departure yourself or up to two days via the contact center. These are terrific add-ons that not only add convenience, but also once-in-a-lifetime experiences. Adding transfers and activities before departure means your clients won't have to spend time figuring out rides or what's the destination. It's all planned for them. What's more is that transfers and most activities are commissionable, so there's a bit of it for you too. Now that my changes are complete, I'll head to the checkout. Verify all the changes you made are correct and proceed down the page just as you did when you initially. Christine. If any special service requests, Yes. Um, we can't we can't see anything. It's all like lines. Well, I don't see how it can be blind. It still says I'm sharing the screen. No, but the video itself is messed up on all of ours. We can't see the video itself. It's all lines. What about as you're listening on your own screen? Yeah, no. but when when they're showing it you know, you're not going to be able to see it. Well, on our screen, yeah, we can see it. I don't know who else is watching, uh, following along on their screen. I can't, I can't see it. It's just a black box, but I can hear it. Yeah, I just have a black box. I can hear it, but all I have is a black box. But okay. I'm, look, I'm looking at the video. Um, I'm using two devices, but I'm looking at it on my, um, on my computer screen. And and following along on my own on my computer and listening to it on my computer as well. Right. Well, why don't you just listen it listen to it uh, on one device and um you know follow along and do it on your computer like or or your or another device so that you can actually you know see what it is that they're talking about. Because you're going to have to take the test anyway. Okay, does that work for everybody? Yeah, you that's can... what I'm doing. I'm okay. I'm listening on one device and doing doing it on another device. I'm listening on my phone, but doing the test on the on my actual computer. So I'm actually seeing everything on my computer, but listening to you on my phone. So I'm still seeing what they're talking about on my computer. So that's why it's good to do it on two devices. Okay, so let me see if this pop-up, it should have done the pop-up too. So let me, let me, let me stop the share and then go back and share with the pop-up. Yours was doing fine up until this particular module. And then it showed just a, 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 
a black box for this particular module. Okay, so then it's probably has something to do with them. So we'll just go ahead, just listen along on the one device and follow along on your, you know, do it alongside the, you know, where you can see it on the other device. Okay, so uh, we're going to go on back and keep so need to be added at this point. It's important to note they may not be properly communicated to the supplier. So you want to follow up with the supplier directly to ensure special arrangements are able to be accommodated. If you added transfers, you may enter some important details into the special service request panel, especially if the passengers are arriving from multiple flights. Expand this panel and then expand the add-on request panel. In the transportation to and from your hotel field, enter the arrival details of the flights, including last name, number of passengers, arrival time, airline, and flight numbers. This will ensure the transportation company picks up your clients on time. At the bottom of the page, check that you understand and accept the terms and conditions, and then click the complete itinerary change button to finalize the update. No changes to a reservation are saved until you click the complete itinerary change button. So if any time you're modifying a reservation and you need to back out of it, just close it. Join me in the next several modules to continue our closer look at the itinerary tools panel. Next up, changing travel dates. Okay, let's measure your understanding. When adding or changing a travel component within a booked reservation, reopen your client's itinerary and click on the panel titles to open the availability and select your components. True or false? True. Okay. Once a new component is added or a component is changed, we need to proceed through the checkout process to finalize the modification. True or false? True. True. Correct. Adding transfers and activities to your reservations not only adds convenience to your client's vacation, but also gives them a more memorable uh, experiences they'll enjoy for a lifetime. You can add a transfers and excursions or activities to a booked reservation up to eight days prior to departure yourself or up to two days via the contact center. True or false? True. Sure. No. Yay! When adding a special service request relating to a newly added component to a booked reservation, it is a good practice to communicate that request directly with the supplier. If you simply note it in the special service request panel in batch, it may not proper be properly communicated. True or false? True. Yay, we're done with that one. Screen sharing stopped because the window closed. Okay, so we're gonna try going back to doing the screen share from the way we were doing it originally. Hopefully maybe the next one will work better. Okay, can everybody see now? Can they see the, my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Hopefully the rest of the modules will video pop up boxes will work okay. You all know that travel plans can change quickly. Now, ALG Vacations is providing even greater flexibility when making changes to your client's travel dates. For land-only packages, you can modify the travel dates up to nine days prior to the original departure date. 
any changes to any travel window within eight days of the original departure date must be made through the contact center. For ENVF packages, we can change travel dates up to 46 days prior to departure. Within 45 days of departure, travel dates would need to be modified by our contact center. Penalties may apply. With ENVF packages, there is quite a bit of flexibility. We can change to any travel window, move to a different exclusive nonstop vacation point, or even a scheduled air option. For packages that include scheduled air or non-refundable hotels, you need to reach out to our contact center for assistance. Live updates and penalties may apply in safe circumstances. To update the travel dates in your client's reservation yourself, first retrieve the reservation and bags. Scroll down the page to the itinerary tools panel and click on the modifications tab. Here you can click on the arrow next to the change res date to expand the drop down panel. Adjust the departure or return dates, or adjust the number of nights. For this example, let's add an additional night to our client's vacation, then we'll click search. This will reopen my work nights in a hurry. Notice that I have a modification in progress notation at the top. That selected a new return flight for me and updated the hotel state. I can re-enter any of these panels to select a different flight, or choose a different hotel by clicking the panel labels. Once I'm satisfied with the selections, I'll click the checkout button and proceed to the checkout process. Changing travel dates will reprice my itinerary, and if any components change, I'll receive a message on the checkout page. Complete any required fields on the checkout page. Add any payment that may be required. Check that your clients understand and accept the terms and conditions, and then click the complete itinerary change button to finalize your update. Okay, quiz time. To change travel dates for a EMVF air package, call the contact center for assistance, modify the reservation in VAX within three days prior to departure, modify the reservation in, in VAX at least 46 days prior to departure, or you cannot modify the reservation in VAX at any time. Forty six days. Correct. Click the oh, this is what I this is what I hate because if my screen is small, so it makes it hard when I have to click something that's in one of the pictures. Click the link in the modifications tab used to modify your client's travel dates. So. Change res date. Change which? Change res date. Okay. So the third orange. Oh, excuse me, it's the second orange thing. Okay, there we go. All right, <laughs> yay, we did it. All right, thank you. And changing seat assignments. Thank you, babe. If clients decide to change their seat assignment um, after booking, you can easily update their selections in Venice. Okay. Retrieve their itinerary and scroll to the itinerary tools panel. Within the modifications tab, you'll see an option to change seat assignments. Click the arrow to expand the panel. Here you can see the seats that were chosen at time of booking. Click the Select Seat Assignments link. With the radio button selected next to the passenger seat assignment you wish to edit, select new seats from the seat diagrams for each segment of the trip that your clients want to change. Once updated selections are made, 
I'll click the change button. My updated selections are recorded and displayed in the change seat assignments panel within the itinerary tools. And it's as easy as that. Okay, quiz time. If your client wants to change their seat assignments after booking, open the reservation and click the modifications tab in the itinerary tools panel. Expand the change seat assignments panel to display the assigned seats. Update your client's choice by clicking the name of the passenger that wants a different seat, the seat number you want to change, the select seat assignments link, or change component. Is it raining? Is it the name of the passenger? Name of the passenger? Incorrect. Just Jessica would like to change seats. It's, to it's okay. select seat assignment. Okay. Jessica would like to change seats to uh, 36A. Where would you click to change her seat to this location on the diagram? Unfortunately, I cannot make my picture bigger. <laughs> Oh, the Lord. Can anyone help me find where it is on the screen? <laughs> yeah, go to all the way down where it says number 36. And in that first column, uh, vertical column is, co column, is uh, column A. So that would be the seat 36A. Where my mouse is? Uh, yes. Okay, we're going to try that. Correct. Yay. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to have to go back and do this because, okay, and it's select seat assignments link. Was that the one that you said? Yeah, that's the one she said. Yes. Okay. All right, and then 36A right there. Okay, yay, we did it. All right, thank you. But I couldn't see that. I couldn't see the, the numbers on those uh, uh, seats. They have to how small my laptop thing is, screen is. And I thought it was big when I bought it, but <laughs> obviously it's not big enough, not for my old eyes. Okay, so now we're on copying a reservation. AI Applications provides a useful feature in BAX that allows you to quickly replicate an existing reservation. A common example, and this is useful, is when a party would like to join another party on the same vacation itinerary. It's also a helpful tool if you need to rebuild an itinerary that may have auto canceled due to lack of planning. Let's open a reservation in BAX and we want to copy. Scroll to the itinerary tool panel and click on the copy panel. Then click the copy reservation. Here you'll be asked to enter the number of adults and children traveling to the new reservation. That's what this verify that all the components are still available. Come for working with live inventory, it's possible that the exact same items may no longer be available. If a component is no longer available, you'll be alerted to the missing component. That will replace any unavailable components with a substitute. You always have the option to change the substituting components by reopening the availability changes. 
when the itinerary is all set, just head over to the checkout page. At checkout, you'll need to enter the travel information, the PSA information, and any special service requests if needed. You can know that if the original itinerary included travel protection, and I'm not copying over to the new itinerary. In this case, you'll want to confirm with the new party if they want to have protection added. Complete payment information and then click the complete booking button to finish the action. Okay, quiz time. When copying a reservation, if an original travel component is no longer available, VAX will select a similar substitute. True or false? True. True. Okay. All features, including travel protection, will transfer to the copied reservation. True false. or false? False. 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 Okay. Yay, we got it. All right, viewing reservation history. Within the client's reservation, you can view general comments, county, and booking history for reference. Within the history tab in the itinerary tools panel of your client's reservation, you have a drop down menu to select the type of history you're looking for. Comment history is a thread of general comments that were made about a reservation. If you type anything into the internal comments panel on the checkout page when booking or making a modification, that message would appear here. All comments are date and time stamped. Counting activity displays information such as balance, payments, refunds, and price changes. Here you can see gross and net pricing, the adjusted net balance, commission, and adjusted commission. If you set your own commission, that would display here under the payments and balance sections. The reservation history offers all the specifics about each component of your client reservation including the date and time they were booked or the date and time they were canceled. You'll also see a second option to pull reservation history along with special service requests. Finally, if your clients had to cancel this booking, you have the ability to look up travel credit history. This will list each traveler by name and detail, how many credits are available, how many have been redeemed, and the date of expiration. This is a quick and easy way to verify how much money they have to apply to a new booking. Okay, quiz time. What information can you reference within the reservation history section? Payments and balance, gross and net pricing, any added commission, set your own commission, or all of the above? All of the above. Correct. If your clients book, cancel a bookie, you can look up travel credit information within the canceled reservations history tab. Because travel credit remains within the, with the original bookie, you can see how many credits are active to use and how many have been redeemed, true or false? True. Yay! Okay, on to the next. Canceling a reservation.
your clients need to cancel their reservation, retrieve the reservation and scroll to the itinerary tools panel. Click the cancel tab, then click the complete cancel button to permanently cancel the reservation. A message at the top of the itinerary will confirm that your reservation has been successfully canceled. You'll also receive an email verification and cancellation. Well, that was quick. Okay. If you want to cancel a res reservation, you need to contact call call customer support. False. Correct. I was quick. Refunds, refunds and air exchange considerations. When you cancel a reservation with the ALG Vacation Brands, your refund request will automatically be submitted for you, whether in the original form of payment or travel credit based on the type of package book. Canceled preservations may be subject to supplier cancellation penalties. Details of those policies can be found in the brand's terms and conditions. Cash back or travel credit associated with a refund under a supplier penalty will be adjusted as applicable. Remember, a payment must have been applied on the reservation, such as a deposit, for it to qualify for a refund. And finally, if you have a contracted group booking, Please submit your refund request directly through the groups team via the group service request form. We'll share more on that in the group section of this program. If a reservation is eligible for travel credit, it will be processed within one to two business days. An email confirming the travel credit amounts, including rebooking steps, will be sent to you in the days that follow. Per person credit distributions will be allocated to adults only, so no children. When your refund is in the form of travel credit, it is valid for travel commencing within 13 months or 395 days of the original departure date of the canceled reservation. Remember, travel credit is non-refundable, non-transferable, not redeemable for cash, and must be used by the expiration date. Travel credit will be issued in the names of the passengers that are 18 years of age and older on the original reservation. Travel credit must be applied to the same ALG vacation brand as the original booking. You can view available travel credit and associated expiration dates in the original reservation's travel credit history or via the travel credit balance check feature in Max. We'll share more about this feature in our next lesson. If the reservation is eligible for cash back, a refund will be issued to the original form of payment in approximately 30 days. Dependent upon your financial institution, it may take longer to appear on your statement. Most of the time, refunds are just that simple, but there are some important things to consider when you cancel a reservation, as they can influence the amount of the refund. The individual components of your reservation and the date when your reservation is canceled are important factors when the supplier penalties come into play. Details regarding the supplier's cancellation penalties can be found in the brand's terms and conditions. Cash back or travel credit associated with the refund under penalty will be adjusted as applicable. Let's dive into some other items that can influence your refund amount. When a canceled reservation has Travel Protection Plus included, it is important to understand the travel credit and cash back policies associated with the plan. The Travel Protection Plus, you can cancel your vacation for any reason prior to departure and receive a full refund for your vacation, minus the amount of the Travel Protection Plan, including non-refundable airfares booked through the brand. Your refund is made in the original form of payment unless at the time of purchase you elect refund in the form of travel credit. 
This can provide great peace of mind for your travelers and is why we always recommend adding travel protection to the reservation and its commission book. When you rebook a reservation within seven days of canceling the original, it is considered a reservation change with the ARG vacation brands and you will not be charged any brand cancellation penalties. If the reservation contains Travel Protection Plus, you will have seven days to move the full credit amount of the Travel Protection Plus from the canceled reservation to the new reservation, as long as the original booking does not have any supplier penalties. You should also remember to add Travel Protection Plus to the new booking. Booking beyond seven days of cancellation are subject to cancellation penalties. To move the credit associated with the original Travel Protection Plus component, you will use the eligible air exchange waive penalty form. This form is used to accommodate certain circumstances that we'll discuss here. If after receiving a refund in the form of cash back or travel credit, and your customer is eligible to take advantage of some of our rebooking policy benefits with a rebook of their reservation, fill out the eligible air exchange waive penalty form. This is found at the top of your reservations. The circumstances listed here qualify for the use of the form. The original booking had Travel Protection Plus, you are rebooking within seven days of canceling, and the customer would like the Travel Protection Plus moved over to the new reservation, provided no supplier penalties were assessed or the original reservation did not have Travel Protection Plus, and the customer is rebooking within seven days of canceling and would like to have the AOG vacation brand cancellation fees waived, or the original reservation had published there included without Travel Protection Plus, and the customer would like to exchange the published there based on the airline policy, or, the original reservation had bulk air included without Travel Protection Plus, and the customer would like us to waive the bulk penalties and exchange the bulk air based on the airline policy. And finally, if you are canceling a cash eligible reservation and want to move existing funds in the form of travel credit from the original reservation to the new reservation within 20 days, minus any applicable processing fees after the seven day mark. Another consideration to note when requesting a refund is air exchanges or the action of moving air credit from the old reservation to the new reservation. The air portion of your original reservation refund is considered a separate action since the vacation brand does not hold payment for the air component. Rather, it is managed by the air carrier who falls under the policies for their refund actions. To process an air exchange, please fill out the eligible air exchange waive penalty form as we described earlier after canceling and rebooking. The exchange will be processed by our air team based on carrier rules and the brand's accounting team will move the air credit to the new reservation with any applicable adjustments. There are some important rules to follow when doing an airline exchange. The original reservation must be canceled prior to departure Names on the new reservation must be identical to those used on the original ticket. Fair type remains the same, for example, bulk to bulk or publish to publish, and the vacation brand and air carrier must remain the same. The airline's reuse policy is not expired. The air must be equal or greater to move the full amount over. Okay, that's a lot to digest. Now let's move on to the next lesson and share how you can apply payment for travel credit. Okay, next. Next. All right, oh boy, it's one of these again. Click or tap the item in the image below where you would request a brand penalty to be waived. And you're going to have to help me, guys, because I can't find anything here. It's on the very top of the page. Towards the right, there's two blue. It's the blue section. You want to hit the left side of it. Uh, say that again. So at the very top of the page, 
there's a bl there's blue now i hit the left side of it because it's actually two things there yeah right there right yep here. yep okay thank you you're welcome okay. Cancellation policies can be found in the brand's terms and conditions. True. True. Oh. Correct. False. All eligible air exchange penalties form is not used to request a qualified air exchange. It's false. Correct. Okay, on to the next one. FYI, we're at 76%. Cool. All right. Since we're at good time, and do you think we might be able to finish it, and then tomorrow we do it to something different? Well, we'll ask. We'll see how far it goes. We might get we some modules that take longer. Previous sequence of reservation, it can be still apply it as payment to a new reservation before applying travel credit as payment. Here are a few important details you want to keep in mind. Credits must be applied for reservation at time of booking. And they may not be added as a form of payment later. New booking must be the same ALG vacation brand as the original booking. If the travel credit won't cover the entire amount of the deposit or balance, then another form of payment may be used in addition to the travel credit. Travel credit must be used within 13 months from the date of issue. And it's non refundable, non transferable, may not be redeemed for cash. It must be used prior to its expiration date. More and more reservation payments are being applied with travel credit. This normally occurs when a client has redeemed their travel protection plus travel credit option and a previously canceled reservation. Review a record of travel credit balance. Click the existing reservation link at the top of the navigation bar in Venice. Enter your client's canceled reservation number in the travel credit balance check field and then click the check balance button. In the table that displays, you'll find the traveler name, original credits, redeemed credits, credit status, available credits, and the expiration date of any credit balance. Travel credit available for applying payment to a new reservation will display in the available credits window. You can also view available credits in the history tab of the canceled reservation. Now let's show you how to apply these credits as payment. On the checkout page in the payment information panel of the client's new itinerary, I'll select travel credits as the payment type. Once that option is selected, confirmation number fields will populate below. Enter the reservation numbers of your client's canceled reservations. Travel credit remains attached to the canceled bookings until it's used. Click verify funds. Available credit amounts will populate for each reservation number entered. If needed, you can remove credits by clicking the clear travel credits link next to the confirmation number fields. Check that your clients understand and accept the terms and conditions. Finalize the action by clicking the complete booking button. Any remaining travel credit may be used for additional modifications or upgrades to the new reservation or another reservation altogether. Flexible options and facts help you accommodate so many client requests. Follow me to the next section of our orientation program where we want to be building more complex itineraries. Now, this is where you're really going to allow your clients. Hey, next. We recommend applying travel credit as applicable as your first form of payment at time of booking. True or false? True.
To apply travel credits to your booking, select travel credits as the form of payment and then enter the canceled reservation number in the applicable field. Travel credit remains attached to the canceled booking until it's used. True or false? True. Yay. When to call customer support? We try very hard to provide you with tools to book and modify reservations yourself right in bags. No one wants to wait on hold for assistance if they can quickly remedy their issues or make modifications themselves for their minute. But here are some things that you just can't do yourself in bags. And when you need us to assist, we're here for you. Some common reasons to call our customer care team include adding or dropping a passenger, changing a name or correcting a name on a scheduled air reservation, Requesting hotel rooms above allotment, changing a payment method such as same day reversals, and of course, you should always call us if your clients need assistance with issues or schedule changes during travel. So, what goes on in our contact center is all R and R for us. We rock and roll all day. You thought I was going to say rest and relaxation, didn't you? Did you know that our contact center reps frequently field about seven thousand calls a day? Our during travel team alone can get up to 900 calls in a day. Of course, these numbers are just averages, but they'll give you a good idea of why there are occasions when our whole time is going to be a little longer than we'd like. To make things a bit easier on both of us, we'll give you the tools right in there so you can rock out on your own when possible. Do you know that you can do all these things in backs yourself? By actioning these items in backs, you'll free up an all center line that another agent when asked to call us. When booking, you can build several different types of itineraries, set your own commission, pay using travel credit, choose seat assignments, enter any special requests such as bedding or rooming requests or special accommodations required on flights, and of course, you can attach travel credits. Once you have a booked reservation, you can pull that reservation anytime in fact, change hotels or other components, apply payments, Add or remove features, submit a price match request, add air to a land only booking, set your own commission, change travel dates on land only and exclusive non stop vacation flight reservations, and even check your client's travel credit balance. You can even add travel connections to an already booked reservation as long as you've given seven days of deposit and final payment as it has been made. For those times you do need to get in touch with us, we want you to know that providing fans and helpful service is always our goal. We now offer one phone number and one email address to service all six of our groups. Regardless of which brand you're booking, you can email us at ALD.ALDVacations.com or call us at 1 866 ALD. When you call us, you'll be asked to enter your backside email. Our new smart system will immediately route your call to the right person or team to assist you. <coughs> now, you strive to respond to your email within 24 hours. For simple questions and quick transactions, chatting us is the fastest and easiest way to connect with us. You'll find a banner in each of our brand websites. Just click the banner to start a conversation. Keep in mind that chat is only available through our brand websites. You won't find it on Vax's homepage. This feature is ideal for quick fixes, but if you have an urgent matter or complex issue, please call us instead. Keep in mind that when dealing with anything urgent that may result in the loss of a sale or to address an issue occurring within seven days of travel, your best course of action is always to call our customer care team. Still not sure what to do or when? Check out our helpful guide located right in the resource section of this course. You'll also find this guide along with an entire library of skill builder guides right in our education campus at aotvacations.com backslash education.
Next. Chat is an ideal way to communicate with us for urgent matters or complex issues. True or false? False. Which of these actions is best resolved with a call to our customer support? Paying with travel credits, submitting a price match, adding or removing features, requesting rooms above allotment. Is it the last one? Yes. Correct. Yay! I surprised myself on that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now on to creating an advanced itinerary. Multiple destination itineraries. The advanced search reservation tool enables you to build more complex itineraries for your clients. Whether they want to travel from multiple origin cities, visit multiple destinations, stay at multiple hotels in the same destination, or even return to a city that's different from the origin, you can build those itineraries right here in Max's booking engine. Let's start by taking a look at building a multi-destination itinerary. We'll first open the advanced search tool by clicking on new reservation or new client at the top of the page. You can build a multi-destination itinerary with every one of the AOG brands except for Southwest locations. Once the search tool is open, click on multiple destinations. This will change the entry fields below to accommodate a travel component search for each destination your clients want to travel to. In the first section, we'll enter basic details, including the destination region we're interested in, how many rooms are needed, the number of travelers on the itinerary, a promo code if you have one, and where your clients are departing from. You can also choose to add travel protection on the itinerary right away. You need only select travel protection once on the multi-destination itinerary. The next section is where we'll enter details for our first destination. We'll enter the departure date, where our clients are traveling to, and the number of nights they want to stay. In this area, you'll check the items that your clients need in this destination. The flight option is grayed out because VAX already knows that the flight is required to arrive on the island. Let's check that our clients need a hotel and that they want to rent a car to see some of the sites. Expand the additional hotel options to pinpoint a specific hotel or hotel brand that your client wants, or to modify the check-in and check-out dates. Modifying the check-in and check-out dates is helpful when your clients need a hotel for only a portion of their stay. You'll enter the same search criteria for each destination your clients want. Here in destination number two, our clients will travel to Honolulu and stay for another three nights. They'll need a flight to the island and a hotel when they arrive. They're going to relax and do some surfing and nearby shopping. So we'll say that no rental car is needed here, so we'll uncheck that option. Or you can leave it selected and simply not add a car to your cart later. This is helpful if your clients ever change their mind and want to add a car later. If more destinations are needed, you can continue to add them by clicking on the Add Additional Destination button. Similarly, if your clients decide they want to add a destination between two destinations you already have entered, you can easily add it wherever it's needed without disrupting the search criteria you already have or having to start all over. So say your clients decided they wanted to go from the Big Island to Maui, then to Oahu, we can simply click the Add Destination Before button. This will insert a new destination number two section for you to enter the information for Maui. Oahu will shift to destination number three, and you can continue on your way. 
Select your return flight destination and select any particular flight options that may be needed. And then click search to begin choosing your travel components. When building a multi-destination itinerary, you'll first select all the flights needed for your client's trip. Then you'll select the travel components needed for each destination. For this example, we checked that we needed a hotel and a rental car on the Big Island. So we have links to each of those availability pages within destination number one. Remember, we unchecked the need for a rental car in Oahu, so you can see that component is missing in destination number two. The process for selecting travel components is exactly the same as a single destination itinerary. You have filtering options available on the left side of the availability pages. You can move between availability pages by clicking the titles of each panel. And the features panel is available for every destination, giving you the option to add ground transportation, activities, and fun excursions in every location your clients travel to. Now we've chosen all the flights, hotels, rental cars, and activities our clients want. And here we can save the itinerary for 14 days while our clients decide to purchase. We can also print it or email it to them. If they're ready to buy their package, we can proceed to the checkout page and complete our booking. On the checkout page, you'll have the opportunity to review each travel component you added to the itinerary, starting with the flights. If you need to make a change, click the change buttons along the right side to return to the availability pages. After verifying your flight selections, you'll verify the component selections you made for each destination. So for our first destination on the Big Island, we'll verify selection for our hotel, where of course you can easily upgrade room categories, as well as her choice of rental car and features. We'll do the same for destination number two, and then complete the checkout process exactly the same as all the other itineraries. We'll enter our traveler's information, enter any special service requests needed, we'll select seat assignments, enter payment information, and finish by reviewing and accepting the terms and conditions. For even more specific details and step-by-step -step guidance for building a multi-destination itinerary, make sure you visit our self-help library, write an ALG Vacation Supplier Showcase and Vax at algvacations.com slash education. Okay, next. To begin building a multi multiple destination <clears throat> multiple destination itinerary, use the advanced search tool. Click or tap the link in the image below to share where the advanced search tool is located. Okay, you'll need to help me here because I can't see. I need to get a bigger screen for my laptop or get a bigger, better laptop with a bigger screen. It's the new client under the um, top right. Uh, sorry, left. Right here? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yes, thank you. Your clients want to enjoy a vacation around the Hawaiian Islands, going first to Kauai, then to Honolulu, then to Maui. For their second stop in Honolulu, they plan on staying around their hotel on the beach, surfing and doing some dining and shopping within walking distance. Check one of the travel components your clients need for, need for, their des for this destination. I'll need a hotel. Yeah, okay. Thank you. When completing the search criteria for a multiple destination, if your clients decide they want to add a destination between two destinations you already have criteria completed for, you have to scrap what you already entered and start over, true or false? False. Okay. 
Yes, thank you. Building a multi origin itinerary. Carol Dubication is now on to see ability to book itineraries that allow travelers to depart from different origin cities and meet up in a destination to share the same hotel room. This option is also helpful in some, but not all, travelers in the party meet air, yet they still want to share it with fellow women the destination. Let's take a look at building a multi origin itinerary with two adults traveling to Las Vegas. One person is departing from Chicago and the other from Atlanta. Before we start building, there are a few important things to keep in mind. The air component needs to be booked for each traveler before a hotel and features are selected. If the client wants travel protection, add it to the flight component so that they can take advantage of the low deposit benefit if it's available. Travel protection will pull at the most commonly booked set price of $139.99. If the price of the itinerary is at a lower tier, reach out to our call center and they can modify the pricing for you. Multi origin itineraries may be booked through path of vacations, plunge vacations, blue sky tours, and here with travel impressions. We'll start by opening the advanced search tool. We'll keep the vacation type set at one destination. For our package type, we'll select multiple origin air shared hotel. Let's first book the air for our traveler departing from Chicago going to Las Vegas leaving on September 3rd and staying for three nights. Only one traveler is departing this origin, so I'll set the number of adults to one. Then we'll click search. A blank itinerary will display. Max will not pre-select any travel component for you when building the multi-origin itinerary. So let's go ahead and expand the outbound flight panel so we can choose flight. Then we'll do the same for our return flight. Don't forget that we're going to skip selecting all tablet features for now. We'll head right to the checkout. On the checkout page, verify your flight selection from the first origin with your traveler information. Select or define travel action. Accept the terms and conditions and then click complete booking. Our confirmed reservation will display for our first traveler. We'll get a reminder at the top that we still need to add a hotel package. But first, we need to select the air for our second traveler from Atlanta. Let's click Add Party. It's important to note that you can't hold air until a client decides to confirm. The air will take it if there's any money on the reservation. The pop up window will display with all of my original search criteria. So I'll change the origin to Atlanta and change the number of travelers back to one. Everything else stays the same, so I'll click Search. Now I'll get a blank itinerary again. My first travel details appear at the top and I can view her itinerary if needed. But I'm going to go ahead and make my flight selection. So I'll expand the outbound and return flight panels to keep my flights. And then just like last time, I'll proceed right to checkout. Complete the checkout process just as you did for the first traveler. Enter traveler information, select the decline travel protection, Accept the terms and conditions and then click confirm passenger to complete the transaction. Two tabs will now display at the top of your reservation, one for each traveler. Now it's time to add the hotel and future components, so I'll click on the Add Party button again. A window will pop up in your search criteria. Keep everything the same, including the departing drum field. There's no need to change this since we are just selecting components at our destination. At the hotel, both of our travelers will be staying in one room. I'll change the number of adults to two because both of them are staying in the same room. And then I'll click search. Now, both travelers are displayed at the top of my blank itinerary. This time, I'll expand the hotel panel and choose our hotel. Click on the rental card panel, and on the features panel, expand options for those as well, 
and add the components need to the itinerary. Once you choose the hotel and add any other components to find this one, head to the checkout to finalize the reservation. Here you can complete the traveler information fields, confirm the terms and conditions, and then click the confirm passenger button. Now our reservation is complete. Three tabs along the top indicate that we've added the flights for both travelers and our hotel and features. Make sure your clients apply the deposit to ensure their booking won't cancel. Just scroll down the page to the payment information panel. A summary of the full balance as well as totals for each tab are displayed. If multiple parties want to apply payment, adjust the number of payments drop down. For example, if both my travelers want to pay their portion of the deposit, I can set the number of payments at two. This will populate a second payment area where I can enter information for a second credit card. One more thing to note is that we've made it even easier to share these reservation details with your clients. At the top of the reservation, click the Review Full Summary. This will open an easy to read summary of your entire reservation. You can even click the Show Administrative Information link to display your commission on. You can also print a copy for your clients or for your own records. For step-by-step -step guidance for building the multi-origin itinerary, visit our self-help library at www.indications.com slash education. And join me in the next module to build a live drive itinerary. Okay, next. One travel component must be booked first for all parties before adding other components. Which component must be booked first? Air, hotel, features, air plus hotel should be selected for one party, then for the next party. Air. Correct. Travel protection should be selected with which travel component? Air, hotel, features, any of the above. Anybody disagree with features? It should be air. Wow, I was wrong. I thought it was features. Two travelers are flying from different origins, but they want to share a, in, a room in destination. Which statement is the most correct? This isn't something you can do in VAC, so you need to contact customer care to assist. When it's time to enter search criteria for a hotel, I'll select one room with two adults. This isn't possible because you need to select air plus hotel separately for each party. Each party will have his or her own room. None of the above. When it's time to select the hotel, do two adults. The second one. The second one, okay. All right, so now we have to Go back and it was air and which air travel? again it's air again air air again mm -hmm. okay and it's two adults okay thank you Building a fly drive itinerary. Fly drive vacations are very popular these days. And with ALG vacations, it's simple to build an itinerary that includes flights, multiple hotels and a rental car your clients can experience several destinations in the interim. 
These are oftentimes referred to as an open jaw itinerary. This is when a traveler buys into one destination and departs out of another, traveling in sort of an open jaw pattern. An open jaw can also work in the reverse, where travelers depart one city to visit a destination, but then return to a different city. In this module, let's build a flying education where they fly into Phoenix for a few days, rent a car, and then drive to Las Vegas before returning home. Let's start by clicking the reservation at the top of the screen to open the advanced search tool. Then we'll select multiple destinations as our vacation site. Select the appropriate destination region, the number of rooms required, and how many travelers are going. Our client will be departing from Chicago in this example, and let's include travel protection right away. For destination number one, our clients are flying in Phoenix to spend three nights. In this section, our flight is grayed out because the booking engine already knows the flight is required for Phoenix. We'll also need a hotel, and our clients want to rent a car so they can drive to Vegas. We'll keep these components checked. For destination number two, Max has already calculated our departure date based on the number of nights we selected for destination number one. We'll select Las Vegas as our destination for another 10 weeks. Because our clients are driving, they won't need a flight, so we'll uncheck that. They will need a hotel, they won't need another car. Remember, you can insert additional destinations between existing destinations simply by clicking on the buttons on the right. We're returning back to Chicago in this example, but a different return city may be chosen by expanding the drop down options. Now we're ready to click search. First, back will walk me through choosing flights for both my book on segment to Phoenix, and then we return home to Las Vegas. Next, I'll choose my travel components for destination number one. I'll first choose a hotel that will best suit my client's needs. Next, I'll click on rental cars to click in the panel. Here I can see a grid of options by car company and vehicle type. Now we need to tell the system that we're picking it up in Phoenix, but dropping it off in Las Vegas. The panel in the upper left corner is where I'll modify my search criteria. The first thing I need to do is select the car company. Now I can modify my pickup and drop off locations. If you don't see a pickup or drop off location that you need, Change the car company. Available locations may vary by company. I can also modify the pickup and drop off dates. Maybe my clients only want a car for a day or two. Here I can modify the dates the car is needed so my clients don't have to pay for it the entire time of their vacation. Next, I can choose the features and destination number one. Because I chose to add travel protection, you'll see it display within destination number one but not the subsequent destinations. Don't worry, your clients are covered throughout the entire vacation, so we don't need to add it to the remaining destination. From here, we'll select travel components for my second destination, which includes hotel and business. Then my itinerary is complete, and I'm ready to check out. The checkout process for this type of itinerary is exactly the same as all the others. Whether your clients want to drive across the Florida Keys, cruise Route 66, or enjoy the fall colors of the Northeast, fly drive vacations are the way to go. Okay, next. What is an open jaw itinerary? When a traveler departs from one city, visits a destination, then returns to a city other than the origin. When a traveler flies into one destination but returns home from another destination, both of the above are correct. Neither of the above are correct. Both are correct. Both. Pardon? Both of them are correct. The one where it says, yeah. Okay. All right. Your clients want to fly into Fort Myers and then spend a few days taking a leisurely drive to Nashville where they'll, they'll then fly back home. They only want, sorry, they will only spend one night in RSW before hitting the road. 
how do you search for only one night in destination one? Change the number of nights from five to four. Expand the additional hotel options panel. Uh, offset the hotel dates to remove dates a hotel is not needed. Uncheck the box next to I will need a hotel or none of the above. Anybody? I still show 13 people here. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm thinking this one. Oh, well, I thought it, I so I got it wrong, and I know so we know it's not uncheck the hotel one, but yeah, I don't know which one the right one is. <laughs> I'm thinking change the number of nights from five to four or to expand the additional hotel options i don't know it's not none of the above okay so it's either the first or the second one um, i think it's two the second one i got it right expand the um yeah expand yeah. the options okay thank you Using the same scenario, your clients want to fly into Fort Myers, then drive to Nashville to spend a couple of nights. Select which travel components are needed in destination two. Light and, and um, rental car. Oh. Okay. Incorrect. Retry. The first one was. Both of the above. I remember that. Yeah. My brain's getting tired. <laughs> Expand these. Okay. Now, all right. So, what is it? I need a hotel. Pardon? They need I a need a hotel. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Looking two hotels in the same destination. On occasion, your clients may prefer to stay at multiple hotels in the same destination. This could simply put them closer to desired attractions they want to visit or ship them closer to the airport for a night. Whatever their preference, you can easily accommodate the request in advance. For this example, let's take a look at a couple that want to experience an eco adventure in the Riviera Maya, then spend a couple days in Cancun's hotel zone before heading home. Let's start by clicking the new reservation link in Bax to open the advanced search reservation tool. And here we'll choose multiple destinations as the vacation time. This may seem counterintuitive because our clients are only going to the Cancun area. But the whole inventory for multiple hotels will need to build it as if they were traveling to multiple destinations. Think of each hotel as its own destination. From here, I'll enter my search criteria, including the number of travelers and where they're departing from. I can add travel protection right away to my itinerary. And then I'll complete the fields to do destination number one for the first hotel my clients want to stay in. Our clients want to begin their stay in Riviera Maya, so we'll send them to Cancun for three nights. The system already knows they'll need a flight there, so that option is grayed out. They'll need a hotel, so we'll check that. 
And for this example, they won't be a rental car. For destination number two, we'll keep the going to field as Cancun. We'll complete the number of nights and tell the system they will need a hotel. Then we'll verify our return city and click search to begin building our criteria. Because we're building a multi-destination itinerary, we'll begin by selecting the flights to and from our destination. Then we'll select travel components for destination number one. Click on the panel titles to expand the availability pages. Here I've already selected an upscale hotel in the Riviera Maya and added a couple of entertaining features that my clients may love. Then we'll scroll down the page to destination number two. Notice that we're remaining in Cancun and Riviera Maya. We'll select our second hotel in Cancun's hotel zone. We can also add more activities to our current form as well. From here, we're ready to either save and send a copy of the itinerary to our clients or head to check out. Of course, your clients have the option to stay at more than just two hotels in a single destination. They can hop around as much as they like. They can experience it all with your help. Okay, next. You can book multiple hotel stays in the same location by using the advanced search tool and selecting multiple destinations as the vacation type. True or false? True. True. If your client wants to stay at a resort hotel near the theme parks in Orlando for the majority of their trip, but want to move closer to the airport for their final night to catch an early morning flight back home, you'll enter Orlando as both destination one and destination two. True or false? True. False. Okay. Three more. Yay. Departing one city and returning to another. If your clients want to depart from one city but return to a different city after their vacation, it may seem impossible to build this in advance. But there's a trick to it, and it's actually really easy. First, we'll click on the client. Or new reservation at the top to open the advanced search reservation tool. Here I'm going to select the multi destination vacation type. This is the only vacation type that will allow me to alter my return city. So even though my clients may not be traveling to multiple destinations, they still need to use this vacation type. I'll enter my general search criteria, and for destination number one, I'll enter my client's destination. Select the number of nights and travel components that are required. Now for destination number two, because my clients are not actually changing to a second destination, I'll put the same destination in the going to field. I'll select zero as the number of nights and uncheck all travel components. Now I can modify my return city as my client needs. In the itinerary, you can see that I have options to select flight from my departing city and returning to a different city. In destination, I'll choose a hotel and features for my clients. And because I didn't check that I needed a flight, hotel, or rental car in destination number two, I only have the option to add more features. Now I'm ready to head to checkout to finish my sale. Did you know that AOD Vacations is a terrific option for land vacations before and after your clients cruise? Ports are pretty interesting. Tell them to go exploring, and I'll see you in the next module. Okay, next. If your clients want to return to a city other than the one they originated from, we must build their itinerary using the advanced search tool for multiple destinations, even if they're only visiting one destination. True or false? 
True. For destination two, I'll enter the same destination that I did for destination one and assign zero number of nights. What else do I have to do? Expand the additional hotel options panel and offset the hotel dates. Enter at least one night into the number of nights field. Uncheck I will need a hotel. None of the above. Uncheck the hotel. Uncheck. Pre and post and or post cruise vacation. A great way to enhance a cruise vacation is a short land stay before, after, or before and after sailing. Cruise ship ports are a host to a variety of activities, entertainment, and great places to eat. They're always on a coast, which means they're always scenic and exciting. Let's say our clients are going on a short three-night cruise to the Bahamas from October 1st through the 3rd. They want to arrive the day before embarkation to ensure they are on time for the ship. Then they want to spend a couple of extra nights after the cruise to visit around Miami, the port city. Let's go ahead and build their itinerary. Because our clients are staying at a hotel both before and after the cruise, we'll need to build a multi-destination itinerary. Selecting a vacation type allows us to choose a hotel stay before the cruise and another hotel stay after the cruise. Let's open the advanced search tool and choose multiple destinations. We take the first section of the search criteria, including the destination region, number of travelers, and departure city. For the first destination, our clients want to arrive the day before the cruise, so we'll have them arrive in Miami on September 30th. For the number of nights, we'll want to include their nights in Miami, plus the entire length of the cruise. So we'll say the number of nights here is four. This is our one night stay plus the three night cruise. Because our clients really only need the hotel for a single night, we'll offset the hotel dates here by expanding the additional hotel options panel. You'll see that the reservation tool already populated the departure with the destination number two on October 4th, the day our clients come back from the cruise. They're arriving back to Miami, so we'll enter that in the going to field. They will stay for two nights before returning home. They'll need a hotel while in Miami, but no flight, no rental card. You'll notice that the flight option is grayed out as the reservation tool knows the flight is needed. After the short visit in Miami, our clients will return home to Chicago, but keep in mind that I can choose a different return city by selecting another option from the drop down. Now we're ready to click search. From here, the reservation tool will have you select all the required flight segments first. It'll pre select hotels, but I can change those by clicking on the hotels link to expand the availability pages. I can also add my features my clients want. Now we've built them a great surf and turf itinerary and we'll head to the checkout to complete the sale. Now, if your clients want to spend a few days enjoying the port city either before or after their cruise, we'll build this as a single destination itinerary. Let's open the advanced search tool again. Let's say that our clients want to spend three nights in their port city before embarking on their seven night cruise. They'll buy home right after the cruise, so we'll have to make sure their return flight is scheduled accordingly. We'll say the cruise departs on October 1st. To accommodate the three night stay ahead of the cruise, our clients need to arrive in Fort Lauderdale, their port city, on September 28th. Now, for the number of nights, we're going to include the total number of nights for the entire trip. A three night stay in Fort Lauderdale plus the seven night cruise for a total of 10 nights. This ensures our clients have the flight home on the correct date. We'll 
designate the number of travelers and select travel detection just in case. Next, we'll expand the hotel panel. Because our clients only need a hotel for the first three nights of their trip, we'll offset the checkout date to October 1st, the date their cruise departs. Now I'm ready to click search and begin assembling the itinerary. As I build my itinerary, I can see that my flights are scheduled to depart and return on the correct dates, and that my hotel is reserved for the correct length of time. Adding land to a cruise vacation is simple. Just remember, if your clients want hotel nights before and after, you need to build their itinerary using the multi-destination vacation type. If they only need hotel nights before or after the cruise, build them a simple single destination itinerary just make sure you include the hotel stay and the cruise in the total number of nights. Okay, next. If my clients want to spend two nights in their port city before they embark on their eight day, seven night cruise, how many nights should I enter in destination one? Nine. Nine? Yes. Yeah, nine. Okay. Our clients are leaving out of Fort Lauderdale on 9-1 for a 10-day Caribbean cruise, returning to port on 9-10. When they return, they want to spend five nights in a hotel so they can explore around the port city. Click or tap the correct date on the calendar to adjust the check-in date to accommodate their stay. Look, it, you're going to have to help me here because I can't hardly see this. All right, you're going to um just click the, hold on, let me expand you, the, the 10 for the check-in on the first uh, calendar box. Is there... On the uh, left side, on the bottom. Okay. Right? Now, if you go up uh, in the second week, the third, the box where Saturday should be, it's, it's a 10 to the right. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. My bad. I probably explained that wrong. Okay, good. There. Thank you. Yay. And I think we got one more to go. Ninety-seven percent. Oh, final exam. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people. All right, click next. You can access our brand websites from the supplier's drop down menu or by typing their URLs right into your browser's address bar. True or false? True. Correct. To begin building itinerary, you can either search criteria in to the simple vacation package search on the home page. But if you want to build a more complex itinerary, open the advanced search tool, click your mouse or tap on the correct link in the image below to share how to navigate to the search advanced search screen. Okay, under that yellow box, the first one says new reservation. You click that one. Thank See. you. If you pre-select Travel Protection Plus to be added to your client's itinerary on the reservation tool, the Travel Credit Plan option will autom be automatically added to the itinerary, and you won't have to manually add it later. True or false? True. Thank you. The booking engine defaults to shopping for flights by price. 
but if you, you but you can also choose to shop by schedule experience star rating or none of the above schedule schedule um what are the prior answers cuz i was um trying to type it on my tablet uh. I have all of the answers. I can put them in the chat. Thank you. That would be great. Thank you. Click or tap the image area that identifies where you expand and view all room categories at a hotel. Um, it's the little plus symbol. Like right next to the description. Yeah. Thank you. I almost clicked and select there, <laughs> like you do when you're in back. Okay, the hotel profile gives you a quick tour of the property. Here you can view the hotel's location, read about policies, amenities, dining options, accommodations, activities, and more. Plus, rotating images help you see the property inside and out. True. True. These items alert you to exclusive deals and perks and values that can benefit both you and your clients. What are these called? Exclusive perks, agent value IDs, added inclusions, and extra values. Well, in the center there, I think that first thing says exclusive perks. I think it was the agent value IDs, if I recall from previous. Okay, I didn't understand you. I'm sorry. It's the agent value IDs, I believe, if I recall from previous test. It's that one? Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Select all that apply. Quickly find flights that meet your client's expectations using the filtering tool along the left side of the availability page. The filtering tool allows you to filter flight options by seat assignments, number of stops, airline departure and arrival times. Um, everything. Bottom three. I'm sorry. No, you go. <laughs> Thank you. To change car pickup and or drop off locations, you must first select a rental car company. True or false? True. True? Yeah, I think it's true. Okay, it was. Select all that apply. Features can include ground transportation, excursions, tours, admission passes, and show tickets. Is it all of them? Yeah, it looks like it. Because that's what I've seen when I've been in VAX. Correct. Okay. Looking at the filtering tool on the left, how many water activities are available? 14. Okay. That was quick. Any features that are added to the itinerary except for travel protection are reflected in which amount? Included taxes and fees, options, base package price, additional baggage charges. Any features would be options, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it was options. Yep. 
The total package price on the pricing panel is a bundled price versus components being purchased individually. True or false? True. True. Yep. Okay. Thank you. A link to our terms and conditions is available in the pricing panel. This document should be uh, should be your go to for information about cancellations, changes, and refunds, bookings and deposits, travel protection plus coverage, all of the above. I believe it's all of the above. I think so too. Okay. ENVFs are always nonstop. True or false? True, I think. True. Okay. ENVFs options will display in the flight availability pages if they meet your search criteria, but you can also specifically search for ENVF options. Click or tap the area of the reservation tool on the left to identify the correct spot. Oh, great. <laughs> Sorry. It's that link right above the top black bar. Uh, where? The the all top the black bar all the way up there's a hyperlink just below the top bar black bar i still can't find it it's all the way all up. the way up there's a blue yeah keep going yeah. up right yeah, there right okay sorry it's just that i can't read them because it's so small the checkout page gives you last minute upselling pro opportunities before finishing the sale. True or false? True. True? Yeah, true. Okay. Travel protection plus must be selected or declined before completing checkout. True or false? False. No, oh, well, for checkout. Oh, mm. I think false? it's false because didn't they say we can add it up to seven days after? Yeah, checkout? you can add it after. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're going to have to go through. Well, maybe we can miss one. <sighs> okay. So. If your clients have any special requests or are traveling to celebrate, and a special occasion, these may be noted in this section of the checkout. Traveler information, special service requests, secure flight program, internal comments. Weren't that supposed to be special service requests? I think so. Yay. Okay, depending on how far in advance a booking is made, your clients may have the ability to have the final payment made automatically on a determined date, true or false. True, I think. True, okay. Yes. As a safeguard, you and your for you and your business, we always recommend that you ask your clients to sign a an or create a record of declined travel protection prior to checkout. These items confirm that your clients are accepting or denying travel protection and that they have read and understand the terms and conditions of sale. Sale confirmation, secure sales form, acceptance form, or purchase agreement. Mm. I don't know. I'm thinking need the last two. 
um, either acceptance form or purchase yeah. agreement? Acceptance form. I think so too. Yay. Good. Select all that apply. Where you find the terms, where can you find the terms and conditions? On the checkout page in VAX, in the pricing panel of an itinerary, in the footer of each ALVGV brand's brand website, none of the above. I think it was all three, all except three. the last one. Yeah, it's all three. Which one? The first three. The first three? Yeah. Okay. When is a travel itinerary, also referred to as eDocs, delivered to the email address that was provided during checkout? Immediately after final payment, 24 to 48 hours after final payment, approximately seven days after final payment, after the deposit is made on the booking. It's 24 to 48. Yeah, 24 to 48 hours. The travel itinerary has all the information your clients need to travel, including confirmation numbers, schedules, hotel check-in information, and specifics about any excursions or activities they booked, true or false. True. What does the voucher date indicate as shown below? The date the travel itinerary was delivered, the date the travel credits must be used by, the date res resort credits expire, the date exclusive perks must be used by. The first one. The itinerary, okay. In a booked reservation, this tabbed panel is the epicenter of, for applying payments, making modifications, reviewing reservation history, noting comments, and more. What is this panel called? Booking Administration, Modification Center, Itinerary Tool, and the Hub. Anybody? Maybe the itinerary tools. I, I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I was thinking about a mm -hmm. center. There is a separate tab called modification. That's what I was wondering. I don't know. Yeah. So have we got a consent? Somebody typed in the chat as itinerary tools. As well as Linda. Yeah, that one's correct. Which one? The itinerary tools. Itinerary tools, okay. Correct, yay, thank you. Not only can you look up a specific reservation with this tool, but you can also pull lists of reservations based on your search criteria. This is helpful if you want to keep reports on bookings to a particular destination. Bookings using a specific promo code, bookings by a specific agent, et cetera. True or false? True. Okay. Boy, this is as bad as Princess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that one next. <laughs> I remember Princess and Canard both. They were horrible. Okay, 
to add a payment to a booked reservation, retrieve the reservation in VEX and add the pay, add payment tab within the itinerary tools panel, true or false? True. Okay. To modify traveler information on a reservation, Click the blank tab within the itinerary tools panel. Comment. Modification. Yeah. OK. Thank you. Sorry. That was easy. <laughs> when modifying traveler information, you must first select the box next to the traveler number you want to edit. True. Yay. Once a new component is added or a component is changed, we need to proceed through the checkout process to finalize the modification. True or false? I think this was true. Okay. Adding transfers and activities to your reservations not only adds convenience to your client's vacation, but also gives them memorable experiences they'll enjoy for a lifetime. Well, I don't see how transfers will give them memorable experiences, but okay. Um, you can add transfers and excursions or activities to a booked reservation up to 24 hours before departure. True or false? It's false. Yeah. Oh, that was wrong. It's true. Okay. All right. When adding a special service request related relating to a newly added component to a booked reservation. It is a good practice to communicate that request directly with the supplier. If you simply note it in the special request panel in VAX, it may not properly be, be properly communicated. True or false? Correct. True. Okay. To change travel dates for an ENVF air package, call the contact center for assistance, modify the reservation in VAX three days prior to departure, modify the reservation VAX at least 46 days prior to departure. You cannot modify the reservation in VAX at any time. The third one. Okay. Jessica would like to change seats to 36A. Oh, we did this one before. I just have to find 36. There it is, right there. I think, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yay. Good. When copying a reservation, if an original travel component is no longer available, VAX will select a similar substitute. True. What information can you reference within the reservation history selection? Payments and balance, gross and net pricing, any added commission, or all of the above? All of the above. Okay, thank you. If your clients cancel a booking, you can look up travel credit information within the canceled reservations history tab. Because travel credit remains with the original booking, you can see how many credits are active to use and how many have been redeemed, true or false. I'm starting to recognize some of these questions. It's true. <laughs> okay, true. When you cancel a reservation, any applicable refund or travel credit is automatically issued by the vacation branch. True or false? The 
think that's true. Okay. Tap, click or tap the image below to select the item where you would request a brand penalty to be waived. Oh, okay, go, go up a little bit and then over to the right, right there. That one. Okay, thank you. I remember that one. <laughs> the eligible air exchange wave penalty form is not used to request a qualified air exchange. True or false? Well, I don't remember seeing this question. Well, that's false. I remember false. it. Okay. Thank you. To apply travel credits to your booking, select travel credits as the form of payment and then enter the cancel reservation numbers in the applicable fields. Travel credit remains attached to the canceled bookings until it's used. True. True. Thank you. Which of these actions is best resolved with a call to our customer support? Requesting rooms above allotment? Yes, that one. Okay. <laughs> when completing the search criteria for a multiple destination, if your clients decline, decide, excuse me, they want to add a destination between two destinations you already have criteria completed for. You have to scrap what you've already entered and start over. That's false. I remember that one. Yay. When booking a multi-origin multi itinerary, travel protection should be selected with which travel component? Would that be air or any of the above? Air, I think, if I remember. Yeah, air. Which one for sure? Air. Air. Okay. Yay. You can book multiple hotel stays in the same location by using the advanced search tool and selecting multiple destinations as a vacation type. True or false? True. True. If your client, if our clients want to return to a city other than the one they originated from, we must build their itinerary using the advanced search tool for multiple destinations, even if they're only visiting one destination. True or false? True. <clears throat> If my clients want to spend two nights in their port city before they embark on their seven night cruise, how many nights should I enter in destination one? Nine. Okay. <clears throat> well, we passed. We only missed that one. Well, I still need answers because I was <laughs> trying to write everything down on my tablet. I only got two, the true the first true and the third and the third question true. Oh. So the hot spot. I'm about confusing. I'm about to paste them. Sorry. I didn't even realize I didn't paste the rest of them. Okay. Do we do we need to have the answer? Did somebody put the answers in chat? Yeah, uh Jesse's going to. Okay. Um, I got uh... well, the recording will be on Marnie's YouTube channel, however, it might not be there until she gets back. That's the problem. Um, because the, the other day has it, um, was there 133 for the entire thing? Oh. We did three days of this. Oh. oh, this is for all all three recordings? Yeah, I've got the answers for all three recordings. Okay, so make sure before we end this 
that you put that you copy all those answers and put them into like a Word document or a Google document or even putting it into your um, uh, Facebook Messenger chat to yourself. You know, I did that yeah. for you, Christine. Yeah, I've got them all saved on my computer. So I, I've got all the ones from before, but not, I mean, from from one and two that, you know, you sent me. So I just, I don't have the ones for today. But then again, I've already passed it. So I don't really guess I really don't need them. But that was a lot. So make sure you save them all before we click on this. Now, does anybody, did, for anybody that didn't pass, um, make sure you write those, click those, and put them all, save them all. Um, but is there anybody that needs help with an answer before we? Yeah, just let me uh, take pictures of this. Okay. Um, do you know if Marnie's still going to have a, a workshop tomorrow? Because tomorrow was supposed to be uh, the last part of what we just did today. But we right. still have to do the electives. Right. Well, we have electives there, too. So, the, when I clicked on the electives, it was just a survey. What electives? There's, um, an, there's electives that in order to complete the course, you have to do the electives. I clicked on it. It was a survey, and then I just printed out. I mean, the bottom yeah. that says evaluations. Okay. No, so you I'm... have to go to electives. And um... See if we can find where the electives are. There's a survey, but where's the electives? Mm -hmm. well, that's not it. How about I type in the word electives? There they are. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. Oh, yikes. Well, are we going to try the electives tomorrow? Yeah, I have a call that I was supposed to be on like almost an hour ago, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> how many of the how Christine? How many elective um, modules are there? One, two, three, uh, four, seven. Four. There's seven of them. So well, I guess hold on. have to no, there's more than that. Well, it's because you scrolled kind of fast. I was trying to count them. Okay, there's so two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. Four. 10, 11, 12, 12, give or take. I think it's 13. Yeah, I guess five, three, is eight, four is 12, one is 13. So it's 13 so that electives. Be, that could be tomorrow. If you want. And that way, then it'll be totally done. And we won't have to go back to it. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Yeah, we can start that tomorrow. I don't know how much we'll get done, but yeah. We can try tomorrow. It's whatever. Okay. If if we get started tomorrow and then this pending registration um, doesn't, you know, require something additional, then we'll we'll change it up and go to do something else. We just have to do like click the register button and then the complete registration button in it. That's that's you being registered. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, I just did it now. So 
it, it, it starts unlocking the different groups. Okay, great. That'll work then. Now, did you try? When is Marnie due back? Uh, somewhere around, gosh, I don't know exactly. She left on the 7th and two weeks. So Ooh. it's somewhere around the 21st or 22nd. Because so, I won't be, I won't be in tomorrow's class. So, which means I'm going to miss everything tomorrow. Well, we're going to, they'll, they'll save it. And they'll 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 have that information and um eventually it'll get put into Marnie's YouTube channel. She's got quite a few that haven't been uploaded yet because she her desktop computer uh, took a dive around the same time that my desktop computer took the dive. And um so she's got things that she hasn't been able to upload to her um to her YouTube channel. So there's, you know, she'll we'll get them uploaded as soon as she can get her desktop working again. Uh, I don't know where she stands on that at this point in time. She hasn't said. To okay. be able to start these uh, electives, actually, you have to go register. So if you scroll all the way up, actually, if you just scroll all the way up here on the screen. Yeah. I on these, not here. If you just scroll all the way up on this page, on these the electives that they're um, they're you have to go up. No, you have to go up a little bit. Um, keep going. Go, keep keep going. going up. Yeah, all the way up where you see the blue register button. You have to click on that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then come down. Scroll down and and sort of stop go up a little bit no go up a little bit complete registration right there the yeah okay great and now it opens up you know it auto it so that it that's for the so um, if you scroll down now the alg v pro electives badge we've got the pro badge already Okay, so now, yeah. um, so if you do any of these out of order, <laughs> so, okay, so yeah, so it, I guess it really won't matter if you end up doing them out of order, but it's still it, it, it won't allow, it won't open up. So we've finished the first, uh, yeah. Okay, so only the first two in a group it allows to do an out of order. I think it groups them. Okay, so. Well, we'll try these tomorrow and hopefully we'll be able to get through them all tomorrow. Because, I mean, it's Saturday, so, you know, we can stay on as long as you want, if, you know, to get them done if you want. So that we can put ALG to bed and not have to worry about it again. If that's what you'd like to do. So, at least I know that I got those opened up so that, you know, now <laughs> I can get into them as of tomorrow. So, okay. So does anybody need help with anything before we sign off on this for today? I took the pictures. I think I have all the answers now. Okay. Make sure everybody copies everything down. Thank you, Jesse. Um, I just put my name in the chat box. So if someone um, does do the electives tomorrow and you write the answers down, if you can um, um, message me, because I have uh, an event tomorrow and you can um, message me um, on Facebook and Messenger with the answers, I would greatly appreciate it. I don't see your... Was that in Marva Marva, Daniel? Yeah, Marva Daniel. Okay. I would greatly appreciate it because unfortunately I have an event tomorrow. So I will miss it. I will miss the, the training. Well, I, I will uh, let the note takers 
um, whoever's doing the taking the notes there that's been doing such a great job at, at recording all these answers. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, I, I Marva, it. Yeah. Message me on Telegram so I have your name. Okay, who's who's talking? <laughs> okay, wait um, it's Griffin hyphen Eichelberger seven three zero nine three six. Oh geez. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll oh, put it in the chat. Oh, you know what? My daughter has my tablet, and I only have Telegram on my tablet. Uh, uh, we'll put your email in here so I can jot it down. Then I haven't okay. put Telegram on my my antique uh, laptop yet. So right now, it's it's only on my phone. It Which, wouldn't let me put it on my phone and it won't let me put it on my laptop. It only let me put it on my tablet. And so it would, wow. it, and my daughter has my tablet because she works at night. So um, she needed the tablet so she could have something to um, watch at night. Okay, so wait a minute. I'm trying to, where is the chat box? Okay, okay, here it goes. You know, I'm, I'm technically challenged. Hold on, you guys. There you go. Okay. Hold on, I'm writing it. Where to next travel for you? Yeah, that's a long one, so get, give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where to next travel for you? And you did the same thing I do. Put put words or numbers instead of the words. Yeah, <laughs> I've done the same thing too. Okay, um, Jen, do you have? Oh, Jen, hold on, let me get Jen's. Do you want them to, Christine, or take um, a picture you... of it, screenshot it? That might well, be easier I, than trying I'm, to write it. I'm... No, I type I type them as I go on my tablet. Oh, okay. And then probably, I type them up. I'll probably be doing this tomorrow. So I'll probably, because, you know, it, Marnie couldn't get in to do it today. So looks like I might be doing this the whole time she's going to be gone. If you guys don't mind me. <laughs> okay. I got both. Of, I got both. So this is Jen. So what time is it tomorrow? And Martha. <sighs> Gosh, I made the schedule and I can't even remember. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. The last I looked, it was at 10. Everything was at 10. I know. I, they changed it to every, the same time all three days because that got me blown too because I set my alarm yeah, to wake up. I think that was because she did that because of the um, this month because open with. Open with. Um, because of the fact that she was going to be in Hawaii. So, and it's the same Marnie's log, um, Zoom connection, right? We connected. Yeah, it's, it's so it'd be one, one tomorrow, um, the Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Okay, thank you. Which does, oh boy, which does get in the way of the presentation. So, I might have. To I've got three people scheduled for the presentation tomorrow, so I might have to, you know, check it. Well, of course they video it, so the video, so I can check the during the videos for the during the presentation. So that should work. So I just gotta see if I, anybody wants to sign or needs the link. So okay, so anyway. All right, so anybody else need anything? Nope, I got Jen's and Marva's email and I'm just typing on from my pictures. Okay. All right, so nobody else, need, just double checking one more time. Everybody? <laughs> I don't want to end it if somebody's 
I'm going to stop sharing because we don't need that anymore. Okay. All right. So I didn't want to end while somebody's still trying to write down some information. So does everybody have everything they need? Um, I believe yep. so. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, Christine. All right. You're welcome. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.